guys. I am super, super excited. I am so tired of going over to the laundromat to wash my clothes. I'm really busy and I was trying to find something that was reasonable for me since I am living in a studio apartment. We don't have a washer or dryer in unit. And so I was looking at some YouTube videos and I did come across a YouTuber who told me about the portable washer. And I did my research and at first I was just thinking about doing one of those hand washing ones that you can take camping and just getting one for emergency reasons. But the more I looked into it, the more I thought that I would try a portable washer and dryer. And I am super stoked to open these up and um, see how they work. Um, I ended up going with the black and decker for both. I was originally thinking about using the panda dryer since the YouTuber I watched used the panda dryer and had really good reviews on it. But um, I ended up kind of wanting to just have both of them matching. So I did get the black and decker and I had an order from two different places. So I ordered this one on Amazon. I ordered the dryer from uh, I think it's called the Wellbots or Tailbots. I will link everything below and I will link the YouTuber who made the video that made me really finally make my decision on buying um, a portable washer and dryer. So let's open these babies up. I am super excited guys. I've been waiting to get the dryer so I can do this video and do an unboxing together. So here we go. Here you have it. Here is my portable washer and dryer. They're both by Black & Decker. I honestly feel like it's completely worth it. Um, I think I spend somewhere around almost 300 for the washer and almost 400 for the dryer. I will, again, link everything below with the prices. And um, I just wanted to show you what it looks like. They're small. I mean, they're very, very small compared to your normal size washer and dryer. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and set it up. I did buy a dolly for the washer so I can put it in and out of my closet. Um, again, I think for a small space like mine, this is the way to go. I used to have a, or I still have a dolly that I would carry in and out of the apartment unit and um, I would use it to, uh, you know, help me go to our laundromat here on in my apartment uh, on, on site, but it's in the middle of the apartment unit. There's over 900 units in my apartment. And um, it was just a lot of work, especially because that thing did get heavy. And um, it's just going to be really nice. I think I paid $2 to wash, two something to wash, and then about $2 to dry. So uh, in the long run, this is going to be very cost effective, I think. Um, so I'm very, very excited. I spend maybe about $60 every month to wash and dry clothes. Maybe about that much, maybe a little bit more, especially when I'm doing uh, things like my sheets, which the YouTuber that I heard her video from, she did say that she was able to fit a, um, a sheet and maybe a blanket into the washer. So we'll see how how that'll go. Cause I definitely plan on using it for that reason too. Um, again, living in an apartment, you kind of just pile up all your sheets and all of your blankets until you're able to go do laundry. Um, and I love the dryer, it is so small. Like I thought this was gonna be a lot bigger and I'm actually very satisfied with the size of the dryer. So um, I'm super, super stoked to use it and set everything up and um, I'll show you guys. Let's just do this together.
So, I made the dolly. We're gonna put this on the dolly. This one's heavy. Okay guys, so after much struggle trying to figure out how I was going to set up the faucet sink, I looked up a YouTube video and using, um, I don't know what these are called, um, using this, I was able to unscrew the um, aerator from the faucet and um, plug in the, the little adapter that with my washer, so I'm very excited about that because I ended up ordering additional adapters just in case it didn't fit, but it fit perfectly. And this is the old one. Um, I looked up a YouTube video and saw that I was actually supposed to, um, so I was like going the wrong way and that's why I couldn't take the aerator off. Um, but yes, YouTube, I love YouTube. I always learn something on YouTube, so. There we go, and it's perfect. It fit without an issue. The water comes off, and I can always take off this piece right here, and it turns back into like a regular sink. But honestly, I could just leave it like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect the washer and set my first load to wash. I'm super stoked, so let's go. Okay, so I went ahead and connected the draining hose onto the machine, so it's connected in the back down there and then here we have our main hose so i went ahead and connected it to my sink adapters on i'm going to turn this on i'm super excited okay wow this is so awesome load size program program codes and then yeah so the first thing i'm going to try washing is this uh, blanket it is fairly new and it, it has been leaving like little fluff everywhere so I figure I should wash it so let's go ahead and open this so there's the little washer part super super stoked about this um, I don't see that there's like a little lint trap but I'll have to look at the book and see um, where that is because I definitely don't want to have lint all over um, Let's put this in. I don't know if. Okay. So, basically, yes. Basically, this is like the only thing that will fit in here if you are going to wash a blanket. Um, so, let's see. Machine wash cold. Here's the moment of truth. I'm super excited. I'm gonna go ahead and click the lock here. This is to lock it so it stays in place while it shakes around. And close it. So we're gonna do large and then we're gonna go ahead and press start. This is program code. So normal. So I ended up buying this indoor dryer vent kit uh, because I didn't want to have to stick the hose out the window um, and it is supposed to be like an indoor dryer kit thing so it's supposed to be safe. My dryer only came with the tube connector thing, it did not actually come with anything else so that is why I bought this and it was recommended by another YouTuber. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and set that up so that I can put my blanket to dry when it's done. 
All right, you guys, I wanna give you a little bit of an update. So I went ahead and installed this um, indoor vent, which comes with, came with a tube that connected to that little adapter. And then this has water down here so that uh, the, the water can trap the light as it comes out. I went ahead and plugged it in. Again, this did not come with the washer, I mean the dryer. All right, so it looks like my clothes are done washing, so are we, we're gonna come over here. I <laughs> did not secure the tube correctly when the water was coming out, and so it just like poured everywhere, and that sucks, but I will have to secure this tube a lot better. It's so like flimsy and all over the place, so it's getting on my nerves. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take it out and then put it in the dryer and see how this works. I'm so, so excited. Oh yeah, it got it really well. So I'm very, very happy about that. Um, it's pretty much all wet. So I'm super excited that I was able to just wash this at home. Let's go test out my dryer. Okay, so we are gonna open this and we're gonna put her in there, you guys. This is my blanket. These dryer sheets in here. Okay, let's turn her on and uh, test everything. I'm testing everything today. I wanna make sure everything's work in working order before I throw all the boxes away. All right guys, so I realized I never ended my washer dryer video, so I did wanna show you where I currently have it stored. So right now I have my washer and dryer stored in my closet. I'm able to leave my dryer right where it's at, um, kind of in the corner, and um, I bring my dolly out here to connect to the sink. Um, so it doesn't take a lot of space and I'm able to just roll her back in here and they're both out of sight and I still have a good amount of closet space that I really don't need. Um, my closet is pretty spacious, um, but I don't really utilize outside of my closet. But this is a really great way to store them. It's been about, I think a little over two months now that I've had these two. And I have to say this has been the best investment for me. I am about to start clinical and it's going to be very, very helpful to just come home and be able to have my own washer and dryer to use. I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how I do laundry in a uh, apartment. I think that again, these two have been one of the best investments that I've made. Um, I use them just about every week and I'm very, very happy that I was able to find an alternate way to do laundry in a small space. Um, again, I definitely recommend these two. And um, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and ask me. Um, and I will catch you guys on another video. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.